Let's talk about a food bloggers. One of them has slammed restaurants for finding loopholes in the no oh. brunch rule. What is this? This is the thing. So as everyone in Dubai knows, last week brunches and any type of event with large gatherings were canceled. Um, but basically some restaurants are sidestepping that rules. Food Shake, he's a local blogger. He called it out. Restaurants, instead of having brunches, they're now having long lunches. Instead of having late brunches on a Thursday night, they basically just changed the wording to suppers. Not every restaurant, but it just kind of it's poor behavior, right? To- come on, guys, just come on. Can't we wait a few weeks to go to a brunch? Like, what is going to happen if you don't go to a brunch? Yeah, I just think yeah. restaurants are so lucky to be open right now. Um, we see so many restaurants around the world have closed. So it's just kind of, uh, it's just, it's a shame to see that some restaurants, small minority are trying to kind of cleverly sidestep those rules in their opinion. Yeah, I mean, I know that they need the money and we need the businesses, but right now, you know, over the last couple of weeks, we've had, you know, more than a couple of hundred lives lost due to this COVID virus. And you talk to any hospitals or any doctors, they're telling you the same thing. They're full, they need more assistance. Um, I don't want to see the country go on a full lockdown like it had, to, like it did. Um, you know, I saw that you guys put on Love in Dubai this week as well, the boat parties, those secret boat parties that were going on. I put a comment on there, you know, 99.9% of people agreed, but there were still some people going, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's not fine when you lose a family member to this virus. Believe me, your perspective will change. Anything that you're saying right now, be it, oh, you just got to have a strong immune system and stay healthy and eat good food from that to, oh, wearing a mask doesn't work or, all of that will go if someone in your family dies and it is happening. It is, it's not, it's not if it's gonna happen, it's happening to people, it's facts. So just look after ourselves. Let's move on. A cat got stuck in the, in the cockpit. What, what's, what's going on here? Um, this is one of those good news stories that we all need to hear. So a cat somehow got stuck in an airplane cockpit, right? So the flight was from Dubai to Tel Aviv. It landed on January 24th. Now, 14 days later, days, later ground staff saw a tiny kit cat kitty perched in the cockpit <gasps> locked there for 14 days no one knows how it got inside and they've now successfully saved the cat Here's oh mm. it's cute any any cat any cat jokes there ross anything you can add oh he survived by just a whisker <laughs> there we go he clawed his, he his way back I was on the spot, Rossi. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Oh, That's wow. all. He's all he's good for. Finally, um, a, an account that I love. I do follow these guys, influencers in the wild. I've been following them for a while now. Uh, they take funny photos of of influencers around the world, and uh, we got featured. Dubai got featured. I don't know if we're going to say we in this one. So yeah, influencers in the wild. They usually <laughs> poke fun at influencers because they catch them in the act doing kind of silly influencer shoots that people who are not involved don't really get. Um, if you're not involved in the industry. So basically, an influencer was spotted on a Dubai Marina bridge wearing less, like a really tiny bikini doing an upside yep. down splits post. And I think people around the world didn't think too much, but people here were like. Hold on a second. Like we, you know, beaches. That's for the beach. It's not for the street. So I think people were just kind of shocked at how that got taken. How would she even manage yeah. to do this? I mean, I'm sorry about that. I was on the <laughs> way back from the beach, and uh... <laughs> I, I, I listen <laughs> as much. As much as it is what it is in 2021, like, you know, influencers and, you know, women and men taking their shirts off or whatever to get the clout, to get those likes. Um, it's not wanted. I, I feel like it's another thing that we just don't want to see here in this city or in this country. And, you know, I saw that the rules and regulations, the government put out a couple of notices straight after that to let everyone know, like, yo, whilst you're in our country, there are things that you obviously you can do, but there's things that we are not accepting. And that is one of them. So... I guess you just all got to watch out, whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you, Casey Fitzgerald. Always a pleasure to have you on. She's live from the Lovin' Dubai studios. Make sure, make sure you follow and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.